I'm Laura Post, and I voice Eve, Freya, and Mikkel. I found out about the project when a friend of mine, Kieran, who voices Haley's, uh, told me about the auditions and said, oh, you should really audition because it's really fun. And I said, hey, you know what? This does look like fun. So I recorded auditions. I am originally from Chicago. That's where I was born and raised, and I lived there until I was 23 or so, whenever I graduated college. <laughs> I can't do math. Um, and then I moved out to California, and I've been out here for about four years, a little bit over. So I've sort of inadvertently given away my age if you care to do math, but, you know, that's fine. <laughs> I can't imagine my life without voiceover in it. That is pretty much my inspiration, and it's that I can't exist without doing voiceover. It's part of my life support. I think I'd go insane without it. So, yeah, um, that's sort of what inspires me. I really like the scenes with Haley's and um, Jake. <laughs> Sorry, Jake, I totally blew your name there. Um, I just... It's always funny when you have a dude that doesn't understand things interacting with a dude that completely understands things, so... They make me laugh. Yay, Haley's and Jake. They should go off and do a sitcom. Or a spinoff, you know, whatever. Yeah! Well, I feel I absolutely have to say that I admire Kieran as a talent because were it not for him, I probably would not have found out about the project and wouldn't get to be part of the cast. But that being said, I think everybody in the cast truly is very talented and exceptional. Um, yeah, I mean, I just, I would, I remember listening to episodes as they were, well, episode scenes as they were completed and thinking, wow. <laughs> Everyone's really good. So, yeah, I'm just, thank you, everybody, because <laughs> you all rock. I think out of all the characters, I identify with Eve the most, only because she has a lot of problems with, uh, like, her self-confidence. Not that she's not confident, and she doesn't think she's smart, but she obviously is a little wary of this whole heart of soul thing and I know that uh, I often have a lot of self-confidence, self-esteem issues as well. I'm one of those terrible artists that does something and goes, no, no, it's terrible, it's awful. Oh, no, 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 please. But it's true, I do have a lot of uh, self-esteem things and I kind of understand that struggle to accept yourself and believe in yourself. So I appreciate that with Eve and I identify with her as such. Um, well, I sort of have already gone into what I like about Eve and that I like the vulnerability of her spirit, um, but that she sort of rises above it. She's a strong, capable character, and so I like that about her. And Mikkel, I just like being evil. I know, I'm a completely unevil person in the real world, but God, do I just love being evil. <laughs> I'm so fabulously evil. I think that's why I like to play evil, because I'm just so not evil in my daily life. Everybody needs to be a little evil. And Freya's just sweet, isn't she? She's just sweet. I just want to pinch her cheeks, so. Okay, hopefully that's what I've, I've got everyone covered. Everyone there? Yeah, okay. Cool. Onward! Oh my gosh, I have so many inspirations in the world of voiceover. They're just... Voiceover is filled with so many talented, amazing, fantastic people, and they're all nice, too. Like, incredible. Um, the people who are sort of responsible for me being where I am right now, I can say, are Rob Paulson... Because he was one of the first voice actors before I even knew his name, I real I knew him and I was like, "That's so cool! I want to do what he does." 
and Jodie Benson, who was the voice of the Little Mermaid, because, again, I was a kid, and I was just like, I want to do what she does. I want to do... I want to be like Rob Paulson and do multiple characters, and I want the characters I do to be awesome like the Little Mermaid. So thank you to the two of them. And then a last thank you to Tara Strong, uh, because she... I started to admire and study and learn more from later in my life because Rob Paulson and Jody Benson had a major impact on me when I was a child and I hadn't started voiceover yet. Tara Strong, I learned about about a year or so before I started actively pursuing voiceover and she's also an incredible talent. But there's just so many amazing people in this industry. It's sort of hard to believe that uh, there's room for more and yet there still is so that's pretty awesome <laughs> I do have a favorite anime my favorite anime despite what anyone might think about me is actually G Gundam because there is nothing cooler than that anime it has something for everyone it has action and comedy and romance and it's super lame but like amazingly awesome in its lameness i love that anime i've watched it so many times and this hand of mine burns with an awesome power that is really all i can say i love g gundam g gundam that was not my first anime though my first my first full anime series was escaflone which also is like second place because it was my favorite until i saw g gundam and then i was blown away by the awesome so yes i do like anime and that's my favorite Um, wow, one of my favorite projects from the past. Well, I have a lot. I really don't know if I could pick favorites. All of my projects are like my babies. <laughs> you don't love one more than the others. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I just can't pick a favorite. Can't pick a favorite. I could pick a small group of favorites that would consist of like five to ten roles maybe but nobody wants to hear that so yeah I don't have a favorite sorry I did theater in high school and then a little in college in the little community theater I'm my place is behind the microphone <laughs> um I really do love going to the theater I love Musical theater, especially, especially, especially. I talk for a living, yuck, yuck, yuck. No, especially though, I do love musical theater. Um, I would love to do musical theater. I just, uh, me and the stage. I, I always got this feedback in high school that it was, Laura, whenever you're really acting, you completely disconnect from your body. And that just seems to be the way I work. So behind a microphone it's okay because it doesn't matter you can't see what I'm doing you can't see what I'm doing right now but put me on a stage and I look like a big lump of nothing talking really cool doing really good acting with my voice my body is just sort of hitting my marks so yeah I tried theater me and theater just wasn't meant to be <laughs> um I sing that counts as a different talent, right? Uh, I don't know if I sing well, <laughs> but I like doing it. I do karaoke sometimes. Um, and some people don't know this about me, but I can actually talk fairly fast. You would be surprised with all the ums and the hums and the uh and the awkward blah, 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 blah. The awkward pauses with me doing these interviews because I never know what the heck I'm going to say. But I actually can talk up to and a little bit above 500 words per minute. And to put that in context, currently the world record is 637 words per minute. So that's pretty fast. Uh, I'm no John Mashida, or John Mashida Jr., uh, which older people like me would probably know the reference, but I can talk pretty fast when I want to, which is often, because I like to talk fast. Other than that, no, I don't think I'm really talented in anything else. Not exceptionally, at least. <laughs> well, first, I looked at the audition sides, as you do, and my friend Kieran thought I was a shoe in for Eve. 
shoe-ins, but I tend to not think I'm a shoe-in for anything, so I figured I'd just audition for everything and maybe I'd get a part. And I saw that Freya had a British accent and Mikkel had, I think at the time it was a German accent. Um, I was like, well, I can do those. And Eve, you know, was accent neutral. So I did all three, um, recorded auditions for all three. And you just sort of get a feeling for where the characters are coming from. You know, Eve is strong. Eve sounds a lot like me. I think she's a little deeper. Yeah, she's a little she's a little more like here because she has this inner pain, but there's also a strength. And so that comes across in the way she talks and holds herself and it's a very heartfelt actually, a heartfelt way to speak. I can sort of feel her in my chest when I'm not just cuz it's chest voice, but because she's very heartfelt and she's sort of a little bit softer. Whereas Freya is a little bit more intellectual, and she's got a higher-pitched voice. Um, she obviously has the British accent, and she's very ethereal and light and outside everything. And then there is Mikkel, who talks from the throat, both with the accent and with the way she is. She's a warrior. She does what she needs to do so I did auditions for all three I was shocked actually when I got all three characters I was sort of um blown away and surprised and a little bit nervous but um I'm really glad that uh everyone liked it so yay <laughs> yay well um uh, Kieran and I first worked on a uh, fan project for Final Fantasy VIII together and sort of there's a whole clan of us that sort of evolved into a group of friends over the internet we talk on Skype all the time and everything but um yeah that's sort of how we got to know each other and hanging out in the chat room and talking all the time and talking about Final Fantasy VIII because that's actually my favorite video game probably of all time um so yeah that is that is how it all happened that is thank you kieran <laughs> is that is how it all happened so yeah hopefully that answers i think that's really funny though that um you didn't actually know if you had listened to his one friend i can't remember if i even mentioned i don't think i did i think i was just like oh yeah a friend told me a friend as opposed to mm the friend <laughs> uh, told me to audition for this and it looks really cool and I here are my auditions I don't think I even mentioned it you know because I didn't want you to play favorites or anything 